Mission Bay, a spot that I run by probably once a week. Oh, a tough place to run. A tough place to run. Yeah. yeah. Keep your focus. All right. We are uh, talking uh, a little political talk here today. In particular, uh, Dave Roberts and this whole saga that's going on. We're joined by political analyst John Dadian. John, good to see you. So it just seems like a quagmire here, like a he said, she said, back and forth. What's going on? Well, on some aspects, it is he said, she said. On the recent lawsuits, the most dramatic change that I've seen is now there is uh, an actual accusation of bribery, which, is, of course, is a criminal charge. So that one, I think, is going to be hard to prove because it is a he said, she said. Even in the allegation, it says that they were one on one when he said it. So that's going to be tough. Give us the background there. Bribery. Who is being accused of bribing who? One of Robert's staff members says, that after the first couple complaints were filed, the supervisor said to her, basically say some things that aren't true and I'll promote you, I'll give you a promotion and a salary raise. If that is true, that would be bribery. Serious charge. How much time could somebody get if they were convicted of something like that? Well, I'm not sure of the cr criminal statute, but clearly that's a criminal charge, so that would be under the DA. And again, the rumors are that the DA is looking into all these allegations, uh, you know, whether or not they're criminal or whether or not the accusations. You said that you had worked as, as a chief of staff before. To the county supervisor for third district, so, so I'm very familiar, very with, familiar with the county. with this whole world. So give us a take from that perspective. How serious is all of this, or is it just like an office that had ill will and people started pointing fingers at each other. Well, that's what we're going to decipher when the lawsuits, when push comes to shove. But to answer your question, Jim, clearly, as we've already said, the bribery is serious. The second most serious accusation is whether or not there was campaign activities done on county time. If that could be proven, and supposedly there are some type of evidence, emails, that type of thing, if that could be proven, that could be a justification for perhaps putting this elected official out of office because there are very strict lines and again, as a former chief of staff, I, uh, some of my staff was not happy that I kept a very hard line. You can't even cross that line, even, even slightly. And I was thinking, why not? I mean, because when you're in an office setting, it just seems to me like there would be some gray area. If a phone call gets made, a phone gets answered regarding one thing, and somebody could say, well, that's characterized as campaign activity. How do you avoid that? Obviously, uh, currently, even with my background, I know a lot of current chief staff, I know a lot of current elected officials, the good ones have a very hard line. You avoid it. There is no gray area. You, when you're in government office, the taxpayers are paying for you. A campaign is separate and it's under separate rules. If somebody called me, for example, when I was in the county office and said, I want to talk to you about your boss's campaign, I will call you back on my private phone. And, and, you know, some people are saying that if Roberts hadn't been a Democrat, if he was a Republican, he'd be treated differently in this matter. Well, what do you say about that? Balderdash. Uh, <laughs> how, how's that for a very <laughs> concise thing? No, it's absolutely uh, not true. Again, we've seen many scandals. Um, you know, I use the term, what I use for Bob Filner, and so far I've actually used it for this one, and that is, it's not a quote, um, uh, well, it is a direct quote from Richard Nixon during the Watergate area, I gave my enemies a sword. For example, Dave Roberts, by all accounts, including mine, has done a great job as supervisor for two and a half years. I've seen the guy everywhere. He hasn't been partisan. He's dealt with all types of groups. However, this might be a fatal flaw, and I say might. So that's really what the problem is. It has nothing to do with partisan politics. A Republican would still be under the same scrutiny. All right. Well, Thank we you appreciate Tom. you letting us know just how serious you think everything is. But as you said, undecided. We don't know which way this is going to go. We're going to find out. I, I think there's a very strong possibility there could be a resignation before the filing deadline in a, in a few months. All right. John, thank you so much. Thank you.